Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast. This is episode number 426. I do not have any birthdays to go over today. No news to go over today. Just a reminder, check out the show notes to learn more about the show sponsor, Motor City Munitions, and to learn about where you can buy some show swag, which will help support the show and know that 50% of all profits go to the National Medal of Honor Museum. So let's move right on into today's Tale of Honor. Matthew was born on the 26th of November, 1929, in Utah, Alabama, and he went to school at Avondale Elementary School, which at the time was segregated and had separate schools for blacks and whites. He was in the Boy Scouts and became very close with a girl named Lewis in the sixth grade, who would later marry him and they would have five children. Matthew joined the U.S. Army in 1947 while still in school, and he planned to make a career out of it. He deployed to Korea during the Korean War and then lived in Germany with his family before moving to Fort Leonard Wood to train soldiers for their deployment to Vietnam. Matthew volunteered to deploy to Vietnam, and according to his wife, he had known that he wouldn't survive the war and had even said that if he went down, it would make history. Well, on the 28th of February, 1967, Matthew displayed actions that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in action at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, his platoon was suddenly attacked by a large enemy force employing small arms, automatic weapons, and hand grenades. Although the platoon leader and several other key leaders were among the first wounded, Platoon Sergeant Leonard quickly rallied his men to throw back the initial enemy assaults. During the short pause that followed, he organized a defensive perimeter, redistributed ammunition, and inspired his comrades through his forceful leadership and words of encouragement. Noticing a wounded companion outside the perimeter, he dragged the man to safety, but was struck by a sniper's bullet which shattered his left hand. Refusing medical attention and continuously exposing himself to the increasing fire as the enemy again assaulted the perimeter, Platoon Sergeant Leonard moved from position to position to direct the fire of his men against the well-camouflaged foe. Under the cover of the main attack, the enemy moved a machine gun into a location where it could sweep the entire perimeter. This threat was magnified when the platoon machine gun in this area malfunctioned. Platoon Sergeant Leonard quickly crawled to the gun position and was helping to clear the malfunction when the gunner and other men in the vicinity were wounded by fire from the enemy machine gun. Platoon Sergeant Leonard rose to his feet, charged the enemy gun, and destroyed the hostile crew despite being hit several times by enemy fire. He moved to a tree, propped himself against it, and continued to engage the enemy until he succumbed to his many wounds. His fighting spirit, heroic leadership, and valiant acts inspired the remaining members of his platoon to hold back the enemy until assistance arrived. Platoon Sergeant Leonard's profound courage and devotion to his men are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service, and his gallant actions reflect great credit upon himself and the U.S. Army. The Medal of Honor was presented to his family on the 19th of December, 1968, by the Secretary of the Army in a ceremony at the Pentagon, and Matthew Leonard was initially buried in the Shadow Lawn Memorial Park in Birmingham, Alabama, but now rests in the Fort Mitchell National Cemetery, Section 14, Grave 27. His wife, Lois, joined him in 2020. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Floru's Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com, and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information.